Um, so, welcome to the novice guide. Um, right, so, here we are. We're going to create a character. We're presented with two people. Uh, it's called Spraki. And here you can pick the language, right? So, we have Italian, Turkish, Espanol, Deutsch, Francois, and English. So, we'll choose English, right? Since I don't speak well, any of the top ones. Could you tell me which animal lives in water? Mm. Mm. Parrot. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll have to try again. Could you tell me how many months are in a year? Mm. Well, surely, I mean, in 2018, we all have different opinions, right? So, I mean, my opinion is that there were only 10, but I believe that in the real world, 12 is the... right. Can you tell me which letter do you see on the picture, please? Hmm... Wait... Quel est omelette du fromage... No, sorry. Quel est le... Ch I can... I can pronounce that right. So that's a three. And you put in three. Very well. And then it tells you how to move and attack and stuff. Now this isn't really accurate for renewal, because you basically don't really auto-attack anything anymore. But, nonetheless, that's how you move and attack. You. For novices. Yes, still, exactly. Yeah. You you have a yellow mouse button on the left and a white one on the right, and you apparently only have four fingers. So. Well, Why? I can see five. Yeah, but one of them is far off in the, the corner there. And you're supposed <laughs> to hold your mouse like this, like. So you, you take your mouse and then you you hold it like this, right? Like. Apparently, this is how you. This is how you're supposed to hold the mouse. I, I have no idea how the hell you play like this. It's just to show you which button to use. But what if I want to press the left mouse button with my middle finger? I'm gonna do that tomorrow, or oh, it feels weird. Right, uh, then it gives you some more information. Uh, King Kakapo, I used to have cam before as well. I just haven't felt like it in the past two days. And apparently you can catch a pouring or you can find me a fish. Uh, I mean, Oh, it's a quest, right. Alt-U is supposedly the quest thing, right. So you just click here. And you get teleported here, right. And this is when Solemnus is gonna take over more or less, because I usually just click skip everything and go straight into the game. So you walk here to the right, there's gonna be two guards, and there's a little portal thing in a castle, right. You go in. Walk up, you're presented with a... Oh, it's the Spraki again, apparently she teleports. Okay. And she gives us levels. Now you know how to move and to talk to others. Uh, well, it was only this simple in real life. <laughs> Basics of the game. Actually, let's just move this, we can... Oh god. Now. Where you can see game masters. How how are people who are new to the game supposed to know which of these is the game master? Now this is Santa. This is a married couple. These are well, they are the game masters really. And these are high priests. High priests. Thank you. But what if they don't know? What then they, they will. What if you click the wrong one? Afterwards, if they answer right. No, this isn't the one. Game master on picture C. Then if she knows, why is she asking? Uh, that is just so stupid. <laughs> right, okay. Begin the training, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you do start the game right away, you will end up in the real world and you'll have no clue what to do unless you play this game before, at which point you wouldn't watch this guide anyway. So, begin the training. Instructor Braid, brother? Please go see him. Got the question of his training on No, it's not even Spraki, it's Sprkiki. What does Sprake even mean? Right. It's him. Now okay. what? Now you have to talk to him. And, well, this is a very easy one. Experience points from hunting. Uh, uh, uh. He will give you a cup. Okay. So items and he will give you a quest. Ooh, and the quest potions. is to... Yes, also potion. And the quest is... Oh no, first... Here's with the weird hand shit again. <laughs> Right, and then apparently a delicious apple, and you can invite people to parties, and you have to bake them when they're sitting down. And 
Uh, it's very complicated. It's about the right click context menu. Yeah. Oh god, this is this is not easy. There we go, right. Okay. Double click on the item you want to equip. Let us continue after you done doing it. Okay. Oh god, more of it. There's a sad guy. I with think a they're really band. really cutely drawn. I mean I, I agree, I definitely agree. I mean it's uh... Double left click. Use equip on okay, so to equip gear and unequip gear you have to double click to get it on or to get it off. And Alt E is the item window, like so. You get your inventory up. Alt Q. And you get your equipment pane and your stats. Let's equip every equipment given by the instructor. So you open your thingy and then you go to equip. And you double click these. Wizard, slippers. Oh god, that is so cute and eggshell! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm ready to take on Baphomet, seriously. <laughs> yeah, King Kakapu, you should try the shit with the when, when you hold the mouse, right? You should... I... Oh god, I don't know. Right, and then you equip the Novice Main Gouge and Novice Guard. What do we do with the cotton shirt? Why can't yeah, I wear a cotton yeah, yeah. shirt under... A ninja suit. No, you were wearing that before, but it's worse than the things you got now. Yeah, but surely so, a shirt can be worn under a suit. Yes. No, it co look. And why can't why can't I equip two? Why can't why can I only have one? Because you're a novice. How does this set. weigh zero point one? It's a huge <laughs> shield. The dagger weighs zero point one, which is the same weight as an eggshell, but. A potion weighs... So, 10 of these items weigh as much as one potion. But I can carry 300 of these potions. You oh. should drag the potion down into your skill bar, by the way. Like, how do yeah. you do that? You hold it down and then you drag it. Yes, Where exactly. should I put it? Which button? What, the upper left. That the one. one. The yeah. one, okay. The one. And then when you click one, you use the potion. Okay. No, 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 you need them. Okay. Uh, there's 300, I'm sure I'll be okay. Okay, talk now to what? him again. Talk to him again, because you've completed oh, the God, quest of up. You're all set. Uh, fly wing and butterfly wing. You don't need these in here, but okay. Okay, we've already done this. The F12 key on your keyboard. If you drag the right corner, you will be able to... Okay. F9, F1 to F9 are designated hotkeys, like this is a standard, F1, 2, 3... Yeah, we do like this, it's easier. Uh, corresponding T to use, by the way. Oh god! Oh no, now you have two mice and you have two hands. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Um, I, 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 I need to get it, like, you can't play Oro with just one mouse. You need to have two. Somehow. So I'm gonna have to get a second one, I'm gonna place it here, so I'm gonna have to, like... Like this, so I'll have one in each. Ah, no, 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 this shit is complicated, like... No wonder no new players play this game, like, this is so difficult. And then you have to left-click on the left mouse and then drag it to the right side to... All the way up to here. Yes, you just did with the potions. Exactly, on your second mouse. No, sorry, on, on your first mouse. Um, um, customize hotkey... Yes, exactly, so... There's a person called Jiha, Jinha. Mm -hmm. You have to find Jiha and uh, learn first aid. Mm -hmm. is after it, go find. Okay. So what we just learned was that you can drag your potions into your hot bar, which is bound to F1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 9. And by pressing F12, you increase the amount of bars that you can have. And these can all be key bound by pressing escape and going to shortcut configuration and the correspondence 1 1 would be that all the way up to 9 and 2 1 will be these 3 1 will be these and 4 4 will be these and then you can also change the in you, you shouldn't mess around with these though but and then there's emoticon <laughs> macro and flag I don't know what flag is but it's a thing um, but yeah just stick to these for now 
right? So, now, what, where are we going again? Uh, Upper right corner. Oh, okay. We're going to Jinha. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Mm -hmm. She? I guess it's she. Or he? I don't know. Just talk to her, and she will... She will... The NPC will teach you the first aid skill. The irony of Lord Windsor, the female novice, asking someone else for gender. It's... it's... <laughs> Coming. Right, okay. How can you help me? Give me fat loots. I need to learn how to use the first aid skill. Okay. Convert SP into HP when you're in danger. I see. Help you not to faint from the critical hit. Okay. Even I'm learning things here. Uh, why don't you try the skill? Okay, so we press Alt S to get our skill pain up. Oh, here we go, first aid. Now, if we place this on the second one, we make a weird little animation. She's dancing. <laughs> and then we're out of SP. Oh, wow, okay. So it costs 3 SP and we have 14. Oh, god. Okay, well, so that's that. Um, there's also. Oh, play dead, what? Where do you get this? Feign death to avoid the menace of nearby enemies. It's cancelled by casting. Okay. Okay, so we talked to him. I'm checked my. Oh. Um. What now? You have to go back to the guy from before. Okay, so we're done with the Jin Ha. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now talk to him again. I wonder what he's juggling. What is that? Is that a penny? I don't See? know. Maybe? That, that looks weird. Yeah, uh, let's not zoom in on that, that is weird. <laughs> okay, we've learned the first aid skill. Um, right. That's all I can teach you. You didn't teach me anything, you just sent me away to someone else and then I came back. But he taught you the mouse thingies. Oh yes, with the double <laughs> mouse and the, the weird finger things, yeah. Go to the room in west and receive information. Now we got another adventure suit. What do we do with this? Oh, uh, okay. I guess the only different one is that it's slotted, or not? I I don't know. You okay? Just look at the defense. Okay. Which it's one is tattered, better? Tattered has 25, and the novice has 45. Okay, so the novice one is better. Okay, then also take them we have new items. We have fly wings. We use. Oh, oh god, what happened? Okay, right. Um, so there's fly wings in inventory now, let's just, actually let's not put them on the waterfall. And then there's a butterfly wing. Now, to explain the difference, a fly wing will randomly put you anywhere on the same map that you already are, so you can just do like this, and then you just... It's like a mini teleport. You cannot pick the location, it is completely random. A butterfly wing, however, takes you back to your saved location. So if you've saved in a city and you're far, far away, you can click the novice, uh, sorry, the butterfly wing, in this case, called novice, but butterfly wing in general, and it puts you back to the safe spot. So those are like that's the difference between the two wings. Now, I've accidentally clicked butterfly wings when I've been in instances and in like general when I've been leveling. That it's not fun. Not recommended to put these on your hot bar so you accidentally misclick them. Happened <laughs> to me too many times. Anyway, so where are we going? West. You can either go to the left. Or just talk to him and let yourself no, be no, teleported no. to the next one. Okay, mission. now then walk. I'm gonna dance first. There we go. Okay. Okay. Go west. Okay. And now there's. Okay. There's okay, like first you talk to the little girl. Chocolate. Who names a girl Chocolate? Okay. Uh, teach people about seeing the town. Okay, these people are apparently the most important people ever. Mm -hmm. Half agents, cool event corp, and information soldier. Okay. Okay, now what? We spoke to her. Now you talk to the Kafra. Okay, so this is the Kafra. She looks way better than the other dude who was keeping his hands in his pockets and doing weird shit. <laughs> Now this is like the main NPC of the game, um, you can save with them, you can open your storage, which is like a bank, you can teleport with them, sometimes you can just sit there and talk to them too, I mean they're not saying much, but you know, still, they will note occasionally, see? 
If you stand and look long enough. No, they bow. They bow. Well, no, they bow. You know, see. Okay, it is a bow actually. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I just, <laughs> I just explained this, but they're safe storage and teleport service with these blue-haired women. They're women, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, but they all have different hair colors. Well, the standard <laughs> ones are blue. There's no standard one. The ones that oh, so exist in the beginning. Also, it's purple. blue. <laughs> right. Okay. So the place you save with this kafra is where the butterfly wing will take you. And there's a storage. It can hold 300 items, or if you're a paying player, it can hold 600 items. Which might sound like a lot, but it's not. But you can also make new accounts to get another 300 items for free. Um, right, you need to have basic skill level to be able to use these things. Basic skill level 6 to open a storage, which means you would have to be job level 7. Okay. Um, which you will be after the end. Um and she's also yeah, explained there's 300 inventory slots in the Kappa storage. Maximum numbers that can be placed... Oh yes, 30,000 per item is the max. Like, you can't have more than 30,000 cannonballs, like holy balls, for example. I've tried that too. <laughs> I usually max out 30,000 of each ammunition, 30,000 Mastella fruits, and 30,000 uh, deadly poison bottles, and so on and so on. Because you never know when you can need a few. Um, oh yes, also the storage is shared by every character on the account. So if you place something in the storage on character number one, you can access it from character number two and so forth. Seni, which is money, cannot be stored however. And the cap is like 2 billion, 180 million, 4, 5, 3, 7, something, something. But that's not relevant for now, but yeah, okay, moving on. There's teleport services from the blue ones, and also from the red ones. No, we don't want to hear this again. Oh yeah, you can also rent a cart if you're a merchant from these. It's very it's good to know. No. Moving on. Cool event corp guy. That's a guy, right? Mm-hmm. Oh god, he has obviously. long hair. Anyways, now this it's guy... Huh? <laughs> I said it's a blood elf, obviously. Oh, because it's red. Because he looks so overstyled. Right, this guy has the same things. Storage, save point, and teleport. However... Um, it's a little bit different. The teleports that they offer are not the same as the ones that the Kafra offers different teleport. Apparently he wants to talk to us about this later. So. Yeah exactly, most of us are wearing a red coat in places which Kafra does not work for. Now these are Kafras and these are cool and important stuff things. Okay, now this is the soldier, you can find him in um, village gates or in towns and so forth you can ask them for directions and they will mark them with exactly indicate the way to place you want to arrive with the big plus on the minimap now this is the minimap right here on the top and well this is a horrible they, they should have made a map here but basically so your minimap will be here and say that they put a cross here so then you can just walk to wherever you want to go um, <laughs> right so now you've spoken to these three then what um before you talk to the little girl again, you should open your you open your skill window and um, distribute it all. Can you talk a bit louder, by the way? You're a bit lower. What? You're a bit lower. Really? Uh, well, because last time on stream people were complaining that I'm too loud. And you turned me down, so that's okay. not on my part. Anyway, it should be okay now. So, what were you saying? Open the skill window. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, this is the basic skill. Your... Yeah. Right, so if you put your mouse first on it, you'll see that at level 1 it enables to trade with other players. Uh, level 2 is emoticons. Level 3 means you can sit. There's actually a description of what each of these things do. Um, but for now, you should. this should be at 9 at all times. So, 
put 3 here by double clicking 3 times. And then you have to click apply. Otherwise it will not work. Because otherwise if you close it and open it you're going to have it at 0 again if you don't click apply. Right. Okay, you should uh, distribute your stat points. Yes, and you do this by clicking Alt Q. As you can see, we have our window here. Um, equipment, there's head, middle head, lower head, body, shield, weapon, oh, sorry, left hand, right hand, feet, accessories, and garment. And these are the status panes. Strength increases how much you can carry, and your physical attack damage as well. Uh, agility does not increase movement speed, unfortunately. However, it does increase attack speed and dodge, to put it bluntly. Uh, vitality, just what it sounds like really. Um, it reduces damage taken, it increases your health, and it also increases how much health you get back from items. Like for example, a potion. If you have 10 vitality, the potion is 10%, no sorry, 20% stronger because it's 2% for vitality. Intelligence is the same as vitality, but for mana, or SP. Uh, increases recovery rate, increases your max health, as, uh, sorry, SP. Uh, also increases magic damage. Very important. If you're a caster, like a mage or whatever, you want to use these. And also it's noted strength is only for melee, not for ranged. Moving on to dex. Obviously this is for ranged classes. Works just like strength, but for range. Um, also increases the chance to hit for all characters, and increases, uh, so decreases cast time on spells. Uh, let's see what else does the stick there to do? Um, chance to hit, ranged attack damage. That's all I can think of for now. Luck does a little bit of everything. Um, three luck equals one attack damage. 3 luck equals 1 hit rate, uh, 10 luck equals 1 perfect dodge, this is your, it's called flea, perfect dodge is basically if you have 10 perfect dodge that's 10 No, percent. perfect dodge and flea are different. Yes, okay. but it's to the right of flea here. Um, okay. Right, so the right side of flea is perfect dodge, now perfect dodge if you have 10 perfect dodge that's 10% chance to dodge any physical damage, now the flea is the left side, the flea is your normal dodge. Uh, certain monsters require certain amounts of flea to dodge them at up to 95%. Now, even if you have 95% flea and you have 5% perfect dodge, this does not mean that you always will dodge. It does not work like that. Um, let's see, let's talk about the attack, magic attack, hit rating, critical rating. It's just what it sounds, chance to do 150%, I believe, with an attack. Also, it doesn't miss if you get a crit and it goes through defense to a degree. Uh, your defense pain, left side is your hard defense from gear, and the right side is defense from stats, like vitality. One vitality gives you one soft defense. Magic defense, left side is hard defense from gear, right side again, for every int you get one uh, soft defense in magic defense. Um, attack speed, how fast you attack, and these are the status points you get to spend. Now, as you can see here, it's 9 and it says 2. But if I put one more, it costs me 2, right? But if I do one more, see, now it's 3. So for every 10 you put in, it goes up. Like, it gets more and more expensive for each stat you spend in the same place. Whereas, it's 2 and then after 10 it's 3 and then after 20 it's 4 and so forth. I believe. Actually, no, it grows exponentially, it's not linear. But basically, it gets more expensive the more things you put. But you can always see here how much one point would be. So you can plan accordingly based on how many stat points you have to spend. And you get these when you level up. Um, I think that covers that. Have I missed anything? Mm, mm, no, I guess it's okay. Uh, I guess you should put strength, dex, agi, right? Yeah, I'm going to be a fighter, so as a fighter I'm going to have some strength, some agility, a tiny bit of vitality, and some dexterity to make sure I can hit. Anyway, so now that we've covered that... No, you... Anyway... <laughs> we, we will refinish soon. Oh, now I you can, can talk to the... What? Oh, you can on. see what? Yes. 
worth <laughs> noting, yes. now that we're job level 4, if you press the insert button or type slash sit, you can sit down. You can't <laughs> move, but you look really f***ing adorable. And it doubles your regeneration if, and only if, you're under 50% of your weight. Well, this, this is bug. But, um, as you can see here, my weight is 14%, 347 out of 2330. Um, so as long as you're below like 1170 or whatever that is, you will regenerate SP and HP naturally. If you're above 50%, you're gonna have a red icon here to mark that you're above 50%, and you will not naturally regain SP and HP even if you're sitting down. So for newer players, I would definitely recommend to never be over 50% due to the fact that then you cannot regenerate SP and HP naturally. So, and then you can do the dancing dance. Okay, um, so okay. we're now Jedi. Now master. you're gonna talk to the little girl again, and then you will be sent to the fighting ground. Oh god, okay, we're gonna fight. So, yes. You talk to her, right, um, Oh yes, if you go to an inn or a hotel, you can get full SP and HP again. Like a resting sort of thing, but it costs money, I believe. Okay, so now we... Oh god, we got some new stuff here. All the quests I gave you... Real combat. Real combat training given by the instructor Braid. Uh-huh, okay. Now they warp us away. Eventually. Oh god. Okay, so here we are. We've leveled again. Uh, and I'm mm -hmm. gonna put two more on dexterity, so I have eight. And the only mobs that are aggro here are the Fabros. Yes. So, there are many quests to level you up very quickly. The first one is you need to talk with the guy. What, this guy? Yeah, this guy. And he will tell you to kill one Poring. One Poring, okay, hang on. Let's talk. Back to, oh god, here's him with the hand in the pocket guy. Yeah. <laughs> one attack per click. Okay. Uh, you can hold down... Well, actually, if you hold down the left control key and left click something, you will auto attack it indefinitely. Like you can see here. Or you can type slash NC. Which NC I would recommend. No control. Um, so I'm gonna show you the difference first, okay? If I just click on a mob once, it chases it, attacks it once. Okay, now it dies, so I can't really show the point. But the point is. <laughs> if, okay, let, let's do with the walker. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna take it okay. once, and now let's go of the mouse button. See, nothing happens now, right? Right, I'm putting now, by the way, as you can see. Right, okay, so if I hold down control, now I've hold down control and left click on the mob, and she continues the auto attack until one of us is dead. So you, you can put while doing that, or you can alternatively just hold down the left mouse button if you want. So I'm just gonna do slash and C. So now whenever we are, uh, like left click something, it's going to continuously attack it until it's dead. Like this, see? That's just slash NC and then left click. It's very convenient, otherwise you have to keep like holding down left control and it, it's a pain in the ass. So, we had a quest, right? What was the quest? Uh, let's see, Alt U, Hunt Poring. Now, where do we find the Poring? Just walk around. Okay, we walk around. Um, oh my god, they're so cute! Oops. <laughs> uh, okay, Just one point, you can kill all of them later. Okay, so these That's are... Not I have to show you guys this, this is really funny. When Kelly goes... And then there's like jelly everywhere. Okay, we have to find a pouring. A pouring is like the one we just killed, but it's pink. See, that's a yes. Mm-hmm. Maybe we have to go over the bridge. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, Um, a few more minutes. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, then we cross the bridge here, right? There's a s okay, so this guy, as you can see, his name is Red, which means he's much higher level than us. Which means that we should probably not attack him. Now, he's not aggressive, so he's gonna leave us alone if we just leave him alone. Don't. <laughs> da, da. Okay. <laughs> I need that's the question mark, okay. Yeah, the mobs do emoticon sometimes because he probably thought that was gonna be it. Um Right, okay, there's a Rhoda frog, there's a willow. Now we need to find Oh, here are pourings. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff. Now hope like they're not aggressive like we said, so it's all good. So we need one of these, the pourings. We kill it. 
eventually. The fabulous are aggressive. Oh there god. They are. Yeah, there's one of them, he's not really sure what he's doing to me. Oh god, he's very attached. Okay, we have to mm -hmm. kill him because he's aggressive. You can also run away from him if you want, but ah, might as well kill him. So now we've completed the, com completed the first quest. First battle. Very exciting. Let's just dance with the sport. Just go. <laughs> Talk to the NPC again. NPC? You mean the guy with the hand in the pocket, right? Yes. Okay, right. There's the guy with the Right, you talk to him, it's not that hard. Dude, what do you mean not that hard? You didn't move, you just, just sent me a way to do it. Of course it's not hard. Almost done with the course of Novice, therefore you cannot get the first job yet. Right. Basic skills to level 10. Okay, so he's gonna explain the classes, but honestly he, he's really bad at it, so I'm gonna do it instead. Right. So, these, when you go, you can become a swordsman. Now, swordsmen, they're like knights. Well, like, they are knights. Um, they can branch into two different ones. They can go into being a knight from swordsman, or they can go into being a crusader. Now, is it just this the way it sounds really? A knight usually uses a two handed sword and has fast auto attacks and they kill stuff basically. Whereas a crusader, they're kind of more for protection, they use a shield, one handed spear, or sword. And they can do some healing, and they can do some shielding, and they can do some... You know, it, it's the paladins, right? Crusader equals paladins, knight equals... well, knight. Anyways, moving on. Nun. Nuns can become acolytes. These are the ones that we're going for. Acolytes are... they become priests, or they become monks. Priests are... well, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. They heal, they buff, they protect, they babysit people in general, make sure we all stay alive. They're, they're great, they're amazing. If you like to support, this is definitely for you. Um, very difficult to level alone. And then you have the monks, which is a hybrid, imagine, well, most people know what a monk is, but um, they use fist weapons, they have combo skills, they don't really do support, they do have some supportive skills, they make excellent tanks later on. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're kind of like the fighting sort of uh, fighting with their fists. Anyways, moving on. Now this this is the thief class. Uh, a thief uses a dagger and a shield. They um, they can steal, they can poison, they can stealth, um, assassinations. They go into two different classes. They go into assassin or they go into rogue. The assassin can use guitars or double dagger, and well, they kill things in all manner of devious and mischievous ways. Rogues, um, they use daggers or bows, and they use a shield, obviously not while using a bow. Um, they can, well, they, they can debuff a lot, they can also, they're a really fun class because they can copy spells of other classes and use them. So you can copy wizard spells, you can copy arrow spells, or sword spells, or whatever really. They're an excellent fun class to play, and they can auto-steal when they attack, which is really cool. Um, which means more Senny, especially if you're new. Definitely recommend Rogue, great class, high dodge, attack, attacks fast, can stealth, can use all manners of... They can also use swords, sorry, one-handed swords too, yeah. Um, so that covers the Thief, I think, yeah. Um, Next one, merchant. Um, just what it sounds like. It's a little dude who drags around a cart. <laughs> um, the way the merchant class works is basically they can overcharge, which means that when you sell things to the vendor for cennies, you get 25% more. And they also have discount, which works the other way around, that if you buy things from vendors, you get it for 25% less. Um, they can also carry tons and tons, both in the cart and on themselves. And uh, let's see what else can you do. Right. They can also put up something called a vending. Like, so you can actually sell your items to other players when you're AFK. Um, you can see this in towns where people put up a shop, for example, and name the shop uh, My Crap, and then they can sell all kinds of man or things or sennies to other players. Um, they branch into two different ones as well, just about everything does, really. They go into blacksmith, which can forge weapons, and they fight, 
with an axe. Pretty cool class. Um, they can loot a lot, they can fight a lot. They, they're they really fun to level. Um, but yeah, they can also forge their own weapons using ores and materials and stuff. Alright, and the other one from that is Creator. Now, Creator is Think Mad Scientist crossed with Full Metal Alchemist. Um, they can have pets called Homunculus. They also have a cart, just like the thing. They can't create weapons, but they can create potions. So they can brew potions, bombs, create food. Um, let's see what else do they do. They throw these things, like bottle grenades, and they can summon plants. And they can do a lot of fun stuff, really. Great class to play as well. Very, very, they move super fast later on as well. Um, pretty good for solo, like solo play. Also decent for team play. Not that difficult to level. Very strong. You haven't missed anything. Potions, bombs. Shit goes boom. No, oh, okay. Moving on. Archer. Um, well, it's kind of what it says. It's an archer. They shoot with a bow. Uh, very, very good for beginners as well. You have long range. You do a lot of damage. Mobs don't get near you before you kill them. You can trap things later on if you're a hunter. Uh, branch into two different ones. Hunter, which has a pet, a falcon. And they can use traps and they can... Um, let's see what else can they do. They have some AoE and some nice spell, like and some nice damage as well. The other one is the performer class. Now, these are not recommended for new players. They're called Dancer or Bard, depending on what gender your character is. Do not play these classes unless you know what you're doing. They are terrible for solo play, they are party characters only. Th that's the pretense I'm going to say here. They're great for parties, they're invaluable for parties, but for solo it's the worst class there is, literally. Especially if you're new to the game as well, because they need gear and they need experience and they need a lot of time and effort put into them. So try to avoid the performing classes. If you want to play an archer, you should go for the hunter. Because they're basically the opposite. The hunter is great for solo and the other ones is not. Moving on. Mages. Well, they cast spells and shit goes boom. Um, it's what it says. They wield fire, they build cold, lightning and earth. Uh, they branch into two different ones. They branch into Wizard, which is again a stronger version of the Mage. Full offense and control. Um, they can freeze things, they can do firewalls, they can do large area of effect spells. All around it's, it's a wizard. You know, most people know what a wizard is, but I'm, I'm not sure how else to explain it. They wield the four elements basically. And the other one is a Sage. Now a Sage is a bit more of a supportive slash... They can actually auto-attack with a book for auto-cast things. So they can auto-cast spells while they attack. Um, they can also buff, like, they're really good supporters. Because they can enchant people's weapons with fire, water, lightning and so forth. So, uh, for solo play, either is fine really, to be honest. The Sage is actually really good because it can move while casting. Um, but yeah, I, either way it's fine for solo play really, even for new players. Um, I would personally probably say that Sage is a better choice, because it offers party play later on in a bigger, in a wider degree really. Okay, that covers the mage tree, and who the hell is Bruce? <laughs> uh, it's the ninja rebellion, oh, uh, ninja yeah, right. okay, so you know. Right, okay, so Bruce here, apparently. I I've never played any of these classes, but um, the take one is what it sounds like. They kick shit and they, you know, they, they're a, well, take one though class. The ninja, I honestly, I, I know they do ninja things. They, they can either be played like a mage mm -hmm. or like a physical damage dealer class. Oh, okay. Now, the super novice, now this thing is fucking hilarious. Now this super novice gets the first skill tree from all the other classes. So you get from mage, you get from monk, you get from uh, sorry, mage, acolyte, swordsman, thief, and what's the last one? Merchant, right? 
Uh, it's a fun class. They're not very strong per se, but they're, they're fun. Gunslinger is, well, what it sounds like. You shoot things with a gun. How strong they are, I don't know. I know some people play them. There's going to be an update to them within the... For, for hopefully in the near future called Rebellion. We don't have that yet, but... So that, that covers that. Let's, let's end the conversation. Now, we need to level, don't we? Because we need to... Yes. Coach. Okay, okay. First, but talk to the swordsman. Why, why to the, the left. Talk to her. Okay. Can I help you? And say you want the quest. Oh, okay. So you give you a quest. You receive basics of battle quests from... Me. Okay. Uh, then yes. talk to the thief and the thief and accept his quest. Uh -huh. Also tell him that you want to learn more about the thief class. Why? I'm not gonna be a thief. Mm, doesn't matter. Do it. Okay, I want to learn more will, about thieves. He will give you an accessory you can equip which will give you a double attack in the training ground. Really? Really? Wow. Okay, so there's a thief manual and they took off all of our stuff. I, I honestly did not know this. Is this the one? Thief manual? Yep. Right, okay, so let's just equip our stuff again first. Which one is better? Novice Cutter has 50 attack. Knife has 17 attack. Novice Main Gouge has 45. Okay, so Novice Cutter is the best one and then all oh, this amazing action. I'm gonna keep it forever. Um, then we equip all the other stuff too by double clicking it. Um, what? Alright. And then we equip the thief manual that we just got. And now what? Now you talk to the mage. Mm, okay. Also, and... take the quest. Mm -hmm. And there's another quest for the merchant. He will give you seven fracons, I believe. Um, okay, so these, these guys all give you quests that you can do. Yeah. Really? He... 300 sinis? I... I, have, I don't have 300 cents yet. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Right. Okay. okay. Now what? Now you start with the uh, lunatics. I would start with lunatics because they are wait, the lunatics. So the quest we picked up, basics of battle. We need remove two pickies. And then we need five willows. And we need five of l lunartics. Lunar, okay. <laughs> Apparently it's Lunartics. Use Firebolt skill. No, you don't. Just auto attack. Oh, okay. So we have double attack, we have steel. Okay, cool. So we have hiding. You can hide. It only lasts for some seconds and it drains SP. So you said we're going to go for the Lunartics, right? Yes. They are the weakest. Hi, Wawakata. We're recording right now. We're doing a um, novice ground slash class guide sort of thing. Um, so we're trying to find the Lunotics. They're the tiny white bunny things. Ah, uh, where are they? Did I mention them? Hungry? Yes. Oh, there's Willow. Shouldn't I kill him while I'm passing by? Yeah, okay. I thought, why well, I always uh, kill the Lunatics first, because they are the weakest. And then when I level up, I go over to the Willows and then to the Pickies, because they are the strongest. Okay, so we so. need willows, pickies, and lunatics. Now this is this is a lunatic right here. And loot everything you find. Let's kill the ones that are aggressive. Willows. You loot. See items. They look like this. When they drop. We can also kill a few drops and pourings because if they drop an empty bottle, for example, you are almost halfway through the three hundred cent. For one empty bottle. No, it's uh, was it empty bottle? I don't know. Let's just loot everything. You have to left click it, pick it up. You can see what it looks like here. Um, yeah, well, Kata, we've made a lot of guides, but I figured it like this was on the list for a while, and since I'm actually making a new character, we just you know seized the opportunity basically, and you guys get to see the guide being made. So why not? So here's a lunatic. You kill him or her. It. Sorry, it's a picky. <laughs> Oh god, it's this song again. The Doran song, oh god. 
But of course you can also kill other stuff if you want to. No, no, no. We're just gonna kill the stuff. Oh, this music. <laughs> it fits the novice ground so well. Oh god. Oh yes, it's worth noting these pourings and drops. When something l drops on the ground, if if you yeah, as you can see, they eat it, and then you have to kill them to get it back. Jello pie is the best item in the game. Literally, it's like the <laughs> coolest thing there is. It's not a Yoshi song. It's Dorams. Um, so you see, this is your in your inventory under etc. etc. All the items that were picked up. So you see a quest progress here. Now we have all the lunatics that we need. Uh, let's see. I just noticed something. What? Are you using your webcam microphone? Only in this world. Ah, uh, okay. Why? <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. Ah, oh, yeah, but I, you're, I, I did you're... by accident. Okay, okay but so you might these condors. Like, no. Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! This is. <laughs> oh, it's no. okay. It's okay. No, oh, it's no, fine. Dead. fine. My eggshell. Yeah. My precious eggshell. Okay. It's not. It's not lost. Okay. So now we do. Okay. So now we're back here. Talk to him. Talk. No, no. Talk to him. He will heal you fully. So talk to him. He will heal you fully and everything. I Maybe will he stay will a bit longer. Okay. Okay, that's a bit high of a heal, but all right. Okay. Can you can you tip your microphone? It's a bit better. Yes. Perfect. Great. Okay. So we have five willows, five lunatics, and we need one more picky. There's one of these small dudes here. You kill it, even though it's an innocent little bird, but oh, okay, okay. It would kill you and eat your whole family if it could. Anyway, um, so now we've completed all the quests. No, 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 okay, okay. Go, go to the north, more to the north. But we've, okay. And talk to the left one. This one, merchant. Yeah, there oh. you can sell all your stuff. So you click sell. And get the 300. Yes, there was Todokoro. It, it was um... novice pouring leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, okay, so here's all the items. Now you double click them to sell them, and then you see how much sending you're generating. So we're just gonna sell everything for now. Don't by accident sell these things that you need. Okay, you can look through the list first to see that you have everything. What is this Fabio want? Leave me alone. Right, so the left side is the items that you still have in your inventory afterwards, and the right side is the items that are being sold. And there's the total. So you just scroll through to make sure there's nothing here that you want to actually keep. And then you click sell. And now we've made 725, 6 cents, sorry. What is this wow. guy's problem? Leave me alone. Okay, let's just dance a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so okay. now what? Have you completed all the quests? I believe so, yes. Okay, then you can talk with each of the... The corresponding things for the quests? Yes. Okay, so you speak to the swordsman first, can I help you? And you click quest. See? And now we got more novice potions. And then... Uh, uh, thief? thief? Right. Quest. And... Merchant, the merchant. Right. right, so now we're 10-10. And... The mage. There's still the mage. Right. And then you do give me a quest. 11-10, right, so... Uh, just to note that the first level is your base level, and the second one is your job level. Because right now our job is novice, novice, sorry. Um, so we max out this, we put it to nine, enables to change the first class, right? There. Now, um, and your you base level. You can also do something else funny if you want to. What's that? If you go to the north again mm -hmm. and talk to the right NPC, he gives you a nice. No, 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 yeah, this one. Gives you nice tests, I believe. A test? Okay, let's yeah. take the test. Five questions. In the middle of the dark, you walk... In the middle of the... You walk... In the middle of the night, you're walking in the street of Montero when you suddenly hear someone scream. Ah, don't hurt me. Want to play some season? What is this? Surrounded by punks? I mean, punks are in Clock Tower, they're not in front... <laughs> what is your reaction to this situation? Hmm. Throw rocks at them. <laughs> You're sk you skillfully throw rocks at the punks. You have destroyed street punks. What? 
after cleaning up the mess. What? Do you think the person who was surrounded by punks is some? Why does this matter what gender the person was? Okay, uh, I, think it's I really don't know. You find I out really that the son of a very rich family Alberta. What's he doing? How should I know what he was doing? Okay. He was delivering an important object. <laughs> he becomes your friend and decide So I save his ass and now we're friends and now we want to go on a trip. Where are we going? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's go to the garden city of Hugo. Have a great time. Do you feel like something will be happening? What? Do you feel like will be happening or not? Um, happening. It's the, Let's it's go the translation. It's, it's okay. Choose the best answer in your own opinion. What? Something cleaned. I have no idea what it was, but it was something cleaned. Apparently, I was supposed <laughs> to do laundry five minutes ago. Oh well. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. Right, so, uh, best. Co Study, exercise, service, or violence. Um, study. What do you mean change? Preser um. What? What is this? Okay, seller, speedy, theory. Do you always pick up? But you don't find money on the ground. This. Oh God. Okay. It's yes. A test of character. Okay. <laughs> Find some names of opposite sex, would you make... If you had the same name as someone of the opposite sex, would that make you less attracted to them? Yes! <laughs> if I see a woman named James, I'm probably not gonna be that interested. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a job Do you like being able to carry a lot of items? Yes. Do you like reading books? No. Do you read everything in a magazine? No. Do you take the time to worry about what you're wearing? No. <laughs> you tell others what kind of fancy food you've eaten recently. No, this isn't Facebook. No. <laughs> Do you write down things in a notebook? No. Do you cons <laughs> Yes. Do you like being in areas where a lot of people gather? Yeah, sure. Well. Like the idea of living a single life. Well, I would like to have multiple lives, so no. Do you like keeping your distance from... No. Uh, I guess, I guess he meant like... I know what it means, but I'm just I'm taking the piss out of it because it's funny. Okay, okay. Do you think having a good time... Do you think having a good hiding space is important in ba... But if you're having battle, why would you... Um, okay. Obviously, if you want to become a thief. Would you defend your friends even if you knew what they were... Even if you knew they were wrong? Yeah, why not? Try to convince... <laughs> <laughs> would you try to convince an enemy not to fight you with logic? <laughs> okay, <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. So, definitely, definitely. So I, I, I would try to get someone to not fight me with logic. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Can you sit still in the same place for a long time? Um, sure. <laughs> do, you, do you think that you can take a punch straight to the gut from an orc? Well, I've <laughs> never been punched in the stomach by an orc. <laughs> so, um, yes. Do you make up really? nicknames for your friends? Yes. Do you always have a plan B for various situations? Yes. Yes. When talking <laughs> with other people in my mind... What? Hang on. When talking with other people in my mind that the other time has to... Think. I have oh. <laughs> no <laughs> idea what that means. <laughs> I'm gonna go with no. Thank you. Have a long... You have a long life. Your volcanical aptitude assessment is finished. The result is an aggregate. What? T tabulation, so if you press this button, you can see results. Immeasurable, they have many emotions, people trying to stand. Ne Archer is the job that suits you. How did he reach that conclusion? Uh, yes, Dwin, we're making a guide at the same time. So this is being recorded. Do you want to select a job? Archer to. Archer to. Yeah, I, I, um. As any other profession. Quit now training center course. Would you like to make an occupation your career cho- Oh, this, this translation is getting to me. I will no, think- No, just- Huh? You will think what? I, I will think of it again. Okay. Okay. Primer of each class would have received- have enough experience to determine- I mean, look carefully, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you, 
Yeah, guys, this isn't for the faint of heart. This is some hardcore <laughs> shit to be able to decipher what they're... Half the game is trying to decipher what they're actually saying. How does uh, she have Firebolt? She took the... not the item from the thief, but the item from the mage. Oh, okay. Well, either way. So, and Talk to the guy to... again. Huh? Talk to the guy again. Which to one? To the left. The pocket. Left. Down. Oh, him! The pocket yeah, guy, him. yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I don't like him. Have you tried the skills taught in the manual? Want to hear information on each job? If you enough, do you want to even go to town? Yes, I, we're done, will, right? I will stay a bit longer. Why? Because what you can do now is that you can talk to one of these. Now, for example, I want to become an Acolyte, so I go none. What can I do for you? Change my job to Acolyte, right? Do you really want to become an acolyte? I'll send you to cathedral. Right. I will go to the cathedral. Now, you should only do this if you're job level 10. But if you... If you leave, you get more items. If you go the other way, you get more items. Really? Okay, let's do that then. Okay, let's go with the pocket guy then. I want to leave and go to the town. Looks like you are ready. I guess you have made up your mind, huh? Yes. Okay. Now, he will explain to you what... What is he doing? I don't know. Right, he will explain to you what the Eden group is, for example. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the Eden group um, is basically, they look like this. These tiny little um, elf-eared girls, I guess. Uh, and the Eden group contains missions and quests for you to use for leveling. There is everything from level... what's the first one? 12? 11? Yeah. 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 All the way up to level 99. And then after that, there is all the way up to 140, I believe. So you can basically do these, and some of them have 24 hour cooldowns, and some of them are repeatable, and there's tons of different ones, so don't worry. There's delivering quests, killing quests, gathering quests, and so forth. There is for everyone, basically. If you like to run, there's that too. If you like to kill, there's that. To grow, apparently it's to grow up faster. Um, right. Do you have a job in your mind? I have a, I have a job in my mind. Okay. Now, this is where you get to pick. So I pick Acolyte. Chosen become Acolyte to be sent to the town of Frontera, where the sanctuary is. You get some items, good luck Lord Windsor, farewell, and he levels you up for more. Right, so this is where you change to Acolyte. And this concludes the novice tutorial. So I'm gonna stop the recording here. If you like what we're doing, feel free to let us know, you can subscribe, you can Share it with your friends, you can donate, you can follow us on Twitch. Um, so right, I'm just gonna stop the recording here. I'm gonna keep streaming though. So this is the novice guy then. <laughs>